Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're doing great. To all the MotoGP fans out there, if you come across this video, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to um, drop your comments below. And let me know what you think about the Portuguese Grand Prix, you know, um, over the weekend. And yeah, man, um, don't forget to um, share as well on your various social media platforms. So I just want to talk about um, the 2024 Grande Premio de Portugal, the, the Portuguese Grand Prix. So you had, um, man, it was a good Grand Prix, you know. You know, MotoGP is always exciting, isn't it? That's what I'll pay to watch MotoGP. Like right now, I'm not paying to watch Formula One. <laughs> you know, no disrespect to F1, but right now, me, I'll pay to watch MotoGP, you know what I'm saying? Because the fans are getting the money's worth. You understand? Yeah, so, um, let me, let me, let me check it out here. Yeah. So, um, so Jorge Martin, he started on the front row, I'm sure, yeah. And he took the lead. And after he took the lead, he never really looked back, yeah. So the the 26 laps that it was, he never really looked back, yeah. And um, it was Maverick Vinales on the Aprilia. So Jorge Martin was on the, what's it called? The, um, the Pramac Ducati. And he drove really, really well. There was a lot of pressure on him. At the start of the race, it was about six tenths of a second between him and uh, Maverick Vinales. And then you had um, Francesco Bagnaia in third position. Whilst you had Mark Marquez fighting with um, yeah Bagnaia and uh, yeah Pedro Acosta, you know, third, fourth and fifth. You know, there was many riders involved, you know. And then, um, so it was like 0 0.6 of a second. Then going towards the middle of the race, it was like um, 0 0.3. So I'm thinking, you know what? Uh, Vinales is going to make a move on Yogi. But Yogi just kept concentrated. You know, he kept pushing. He kept pushing, he kept pushing, he kept pushing. And then, yeah, man, he ended up... Um, so towards the end of the race, uh, Mark Marquez uh, had a clash with uh, Francesco Bagnaia. And I feel like Bagnaia was a bit too aggressive. But, you know, that more OGP move, yeah, you know, when you undercut someone, when they overtake you and they go wide, is that just a normal move, you know? And Bagnaya said that's a normal thing for him to do, isn't it? So I'm not gonna put too much blame on each rider, you know. Is the incident was investigated and it was deemed a racing incident, and also, um, Vinales said. Um, I just read an article where he said uh, Marvin Vinales and Aprilia he had a gearbox problem, you know, from the sixth lap between when he's trying to find a fifth and sixth gear, he was struggling a little bit. So. Um, with like um one lap to go, you know, Vinales ended up, you know, um so his problem was coming on the main straight, you know, um under braking, you know, um you know, no, sorry, uh under acceleration, you know, to to get to the sixth gear. So uh Maverick was saying that um he has struggles from the sixth lap here yeah, and you know towards the end of the race here yeah, he ended up um dropping the bike here yeah, with like one lap to go, you know, and and, you know, that was really sad for him, yeah, because he still felt that he could have won the race, yeah. So, um, the result was, it was Jorge Martin, you know, plus 25 points. Um, he finished the race in 41 minutes, 18 um, seconds, uh, plus 138 thousands. And he was on the Ducati, and you had, um, in second position, you had Ania Bastianini uh, on the Ducati as well, the factory Ducati, and then in third position, it was the rookie, uh, Pedro Acosta, yeah, I mean, he has some brilliant moves, man, he overtook Mark Marcus, and he overtook Francesco Bagnaia, and, you know, with, um, Maverick Vinales, you know, losing that position, and having a DNF, uh, Pedro Acosta, in his second ever MotoGP race, um, he managed to put it on the podium, so, you know, I just want to send, send a shout out to Pedro Acosta, and, you know, um, for finishing on the podium positions so yeah man um i'm just gonna give you the top 10 uh, in fourth position you had brad binder on the ktm in fifth position you had um jack miller on the ktm in sixth position you had a Ma marco bezeki on uh, the ducati um uh vr46 and then you had um in seventh position, you had Fabio Quattararo uh, on the Yamaha. He's been struggling for the last couple of years. In eighth position, you had Alex Espargaro on the Aprilia. In ninth position, you had Miguel Oliveira on the Aprilia. And in tenth position, you had Fabio Di Gianantonio on the Ducati. So, yeah, peeps, um, congratulations to Jorge Martin. You know, he struggled in the Qatar race um, a little bit. 
And yeah, man, um, he, I think he got on the podium in the Qatar race, I'm sure. And then he's he's leading the World Championship right now. So um, yeah, man, with 60 points. Um, so congrats to um, jo- uh, Joge Martin. Congrats to um, Enia Bastinini. And then congrats to um, Pedro Acosta as well, man. You know, that was a brilliant race, man. I really enjoyed it, you know. Even though it was a bit of a formality with... Um, Jogi Martin, it wasn't that easy for him. He had to really, really push, you know, and make those positions, you know. So yeah, man. Um, I really enjoyed the race. Um, on to the next MotoGP race. Um, uh, I gotta find out when it, where it's gonna be. So um, yeah. And also, anyone coming across this video, please don't forget to show love to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's get to let's get this to a million, um, one million subscribers. You know. I'll be so happy with that, you know. Let, let let's just keep pushing, you know. Let's see uh, together together as a people if we can get to this to like one million, you know, subscribers. So yeah, man, um, peeps, um, I enjoyed the racing on the weekend, you know. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the racing, man. I enjoyed the sprint race as well. And and who won the sprint race? I think it was um, I think it was um, hold on. Yes, it was Maverick Vinales, actually. It was Maverick Vinales that won the sprint race. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to big things from Aprilia this year. And, you know, Vinales, I've always had belief in Vinales. Be- remember, yeah, Yamaha signed Vinales to replace Valentino Rossi. And look at how great Valentino Rossi is. So, Vinales, if you hear this message, yeah, all your fans will send you this video. If you hear this message... There's a lot of pressure on you, you know, Vinales. So, you know, it's all, it's all respect though, man. Yeah. One love to all the drivers and...